as you know, I ran for office um, for state representative as a brand new um, uh, candidate in 1992. And you are now running for office for the first time for a state representative here in Texas. So uh, tell our audience something about how you formed your decision and what you hope to accomplish and maybe a little bit about District 147 here in Texas. Sure, sure. So I never really wanted to actively be a politician, but I took a look around me a couple of years ago and things were going downhill. Again, I'm from Nicaragua, which is a very poor country, and there are better roads in Nicaragua than many parts of District 147, which Houston, being a very rich city, that's completely unacceptable. Uh, I would hear police sirens two, three, four times a day, and I still do to this day. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like that before. Um, so I decided to see where I could help. And I realized that the state representative for the district was not had not been opposed in the previous election. And I hate walking into the voting booth and seeing Democrat candidates just waltzing into their office because nobody opposes them, nobody challenges them. So that's, that was one of the main reasons. I also decided to run because if we excite the bases, if we get the Republicans and conservatives in the area to come out because there's actually a Republican candidate, it lays down the groundwork for countywide races so we can finally turn Houston red. And more importantly, I believe that the residents of District 147 would benefit greatly from conservative ideals such as increased competition, limited government, and keeping things under local control. Now. 147 is a big district. It covers parts of the Heights, most of downtown, parts of Midtown where I live, and then it's a very gerrymandered pizza web. It's, uh, again, very, very gerrymandered, and the composition is mostly Hispanic, about 40% Hispanic, 30% African American, and the rest is a variety of uh, other nationalities. Um, you would think that my Hispanic last name uh, you, you would think that my Hispanic in this race, but sadly, most Hispanics do not vote. So my mission right now is to get the word out, to let them know that I exist, because every single time I mention who my candidate is, from talk to him a couple of weeks ago, to the man in the streets, every time I tell them who my candidate is, they recoil in frustration and disgust. So I'm going to capitalize on that feeding to get elected this November. Well, that sounds like a, a, a very worthwhile goal. And I'm sure that if the people in your district get a chance to meet you and understand who you are, hopefully they will turn out in big numbers and, and support you. And uh, um, it's, it's just such an important thing. And again, even though I did run for office, I didn't get elected, but I did feel more connected to my community and a lot of people who, who came out and said, uh, we really appreciate what you're doing. And, um, and like you said, it's important to have uh, choices in political races. So uh, we certainly support that. And, and at this point, having seen firsthand what leftism can do to a nation, I mean, mm -hmm. it demoralizes generations of, us, of the citizens. I almost feel like it's a moral duty that I have against one of the most woke, one of the most leftist uh, members of the Texas House. That's uh, so good to know. <laughs>